I'm Jessica Jordan. You're listening to American Edition on The Voice of Russia. Well, Australia's high court ruled this week that suspected war criminal Charles Zentai cannot be extradited to Hungary. Zentai was an officer in the Hungarian army during World War II, and he's suspected of beating a teenager to death in Budapest back in November of 1944 for failing to wear the yellow star that identified that teen as a Jew. The high court says Zentai won't be extradited to face war crimes charges because in 1944, Hungarian laws didn't recognize the offense of a war crime. I'm talking more about this with my guest, Kirill Pfefferman. He's an expert at the Russian Research and Educational Holocaust Center, and he has a Ph.D. in Holocaust Studies from Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Mr. Pfefferman, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for, for, for letting us speak on this issue. So what do you make of the decision not to extradite Charles and Ty? Well, it is a complex decision as far as I understand. Uh, put it otherwise, the Australian government was in favor of extraditing him, and the Australian legal system was, uh, it turns out, uh, it turned out yesterday, was opposed to, to, uh, to extraditing him to Hungary, it's um, uh, well. All, uh, despite the, the fact that the Australian government did make uh, it looks like a sincere effort uh, in um, bringing uh, this guy to justice in Hungary, in the country where he allegedly committed his crime, uh, it seems that, uh, that I should. I think that I may subscribe to the opinion expressed by the leader of the Austral- executive director of Australian Jewish uh, organization, the main Australian Jewish organization, he said that this case is a trial of uh, uh, leg- um, legalism over the substantive, substantive justice. So this what do you my, mean by that? This is also my own feeling. What do you mean by that? that? What do you mean by that? I think that uh, the defendant's uh, lawyers were able to use a loophole in the extradition uh, request submitted by the Hungarian authorities, and uh, the Australian Supreme Court uh, probably was uh, would be. It seems to me, this is my my feeling, uh, was uh, didn't you know just was too strict about uh, um, its own interpretation of Hungarian laws. After all, uh, there were uh, cases uh, on uh, in, uh, in uh, the Hungarian law on war crimes was uh, was changed in 1945 when the country was still not communist, and so. This crime uh, exists in the crim- in Hungarian criminal codes from 1945, and uh, it, it is a very deplorable de- development because uh, it means that uh, despite a quarter of century of uh, of uh, efforts uh, to bring uh, uh, those people who were allegedly involved in committing crimes, uh, Holocaust, uh, Holocaust-related crimes in Europe, and who found shelter in Australia, 25 years of uh, of uh, efforts, none of them was ever extradited. So this is the bottom line. It is very deplorable. So what you're saying is this is really setting a precedent. So cases that come forward after this will have the same effect, right? Or have the same outcome? It looks like that, you know, they would, they, 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 uh, each case was uh, when these people were, were not extradited was different. But uh, the bottom line is uh, is uh, surprisingly the same. Uh, even uh, the special uh, commission, uh, United States special commission, uh, the, uh, signed by by the American authorities, uh, is quite uh, claimed in this something like five years ago that uh, this uh, uh, this outcome is uh, due to the lack of willingness of uh, Australian authorities. So. Who or it, it doesn't really matter when we look at the whole complex of events now. 
uh, who who is to blame uh, for this failure, whether Australian uh, executive authorities or Australian legal system? The bottom line is the same: that no one was extradited, and it is uh, it begs for for you know it is uh, very deplorable, as I said. The fact that. Uh, Charles Zentai has said that he is not guilty. He denies the allegation. He said he was not in Hungary when the teenager was killed. How much weight did that carry in this, the fact that he is denying these allegations? He denied them. Did that matter well, at all? It's, uh, uh, Hungary is a free country now. It's no longer a communist country. So the guy could stand trial in, his, in the country where he was born and... Uh, I have uh, confidence in Hungarian legal system. If he claims that he was not there, he could bring his argument to the Hungarian uh, legal system. And uh, it's quite uh, likely that uh, it would uh, find him uh, not guilty. But the very fact that, uh, but the fact that he was not given this opportunity due to Australian legalism. Do you believe we will see more cases like this one come forward? In Australia? Well, not necessarily in Australia, but also Hungary as well. Well, each case has its own history. Um, uh, You know, these people come of age uh, eventually, and... uh, it is it is getting it's more, it's becoming more and more difficult to bring them to trial and uh, legal system even when they're extradited uh, eventually have some compassion towards them just because of their age and regardless of what they allegedly had committed during the war so it looks like that Time is not a great healer in this case so i I, I really doubt whether there will be many cases like that, but it cannot be ruled out that, you know, some cases may be still found, found here and there. And probably I must say, at my soul also say that uh, it uh, should uh, give more thoughtful food for researchers for working in, in institutions or uh, that uh, try to avoid Holocaust uh, 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 Holocaust uh, related uh, Holocaust uh, com- people com- uh, people committed in uh, in uh, accused of committing Holocaust uh, related cri- uh, trials to justice uh, uh, because uh, every case should be researched as much as possible. Otherwise, uh, uh, lawyers uh, and it is by the way very interesting who paid for his uh, defense in Australian uh, High Court. Uh, after all, it is a very expensive uh, proceeding uh, procedure. Uh, so, after all, these lawyers may be all, uh, every uh, or maybe uh, may be uh, able to find uh, something because of which these people cannot be extradited, just as in the case we have just reviewed. The Jerusalem-based Simon Weisenhall Center has spoken out and saying the court's decision appears to ignore numerous legal precedents. I mean, is this a, a swift change? Is this something that was a surprise, do you think, to a lot of people, the way the court decided this case? Well, as I say, the Australian case is somewhat unique because... Uh, uh, and it doesn't really come as a surprise because uh, it could come as a surprise if they did extradite him. Mm. Uh, since though I think Australia is the country for which the, no one was extradited on this uh, on these crimes, so um, it's, it's one of the it's the country you know with probably with the worst record in the in this case. They did try, I must say, and uh, in particular we should, uh, I think that the Australian government uh, should be credited for the efforts uh, during the last uh, quarter of century. But uh, since the government is not the only one who decides on this issue, and they also have a very, very uh, ramified legal uh, system, after all, the bottom line is that it doesn't work. These people are not brought to justice. They are not given an appeal. Well, for some reason, it is also interesting. If this guy is so so confident that he was not there, why was he opposed? 
to 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 let uh, to 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 travel to Hungary to the country or to a free country where he was born and to spend trial there. Well, if we can speculate for a moment and look at what would have happened if the court had decided a different way, if he was extradited uh, to Hungary, what might we have seen unfold? It's very difficult to speculate what would happen then. Uh, uh, Hungary has its own uh, record, uh, and it is it's not uh, well. It's not uh, it's not an easy record in uh, facing. Uh, and uh, in, in trying to bring uh, Nazi criminals uh, or and people accused of uh, of committing Holocaust crimes uh, to justice, but uh, any, at any case, if if he could be brought to trial, but he was not. So it is we were largely ignorant of what could happen. So it is. Uh, it is very, you know, we can. I, I can't speak, you know, I don't know what could happen. But you know, even this, but you know, this opportunity was not given to him, and unfortunately, it is a, it is a very deplorable, as I said. That's Carol Pfefferman. He's an expert at the Russian Research and Educational Holocaust Center, and he also has a PhD in Holocaust Studies from Hebrew University of Jerusalem. And we have been talking about Australia's high court ruling this week that suspected war criminal Charles Zentai not be extradited to Hungary. Kirill Pfefferman, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you very much.